Hi guys, it's Chris. I'm hands-free at the moment. This is an Amiga uh, printer video, specifically for Hoss here. And I'll go over that in just a second. This is an uh, Oki Data Microline 590. It's a 24-pin printer that was purchased in 2003. Might have shown that on a video in the past. Got myself a box of the old continuous feed dot matrix paper. And I wanted to hook it up to my uh, Pi Storm Amiga 1000. There's a couple of differences between Grandpa here and something like the Amiga 600. Now, in my case, popped its clips. And I'll go over that in a minute. So, on the Amiga 600, the printer port is uh, here, and the cable is a male, and the reciprocating jack is a female. All is well, all your printers work. On the Amiga 1000 here, this is the printer port. It's a male, and so is your cable. Now, there's also some other differences. On the Amiga 1000, we have some issues. I found an article on EAB from long ago that you have to swap three pins. 14 needs to go to 23 because 23 is normally a ground and she's 5 volts on the 1000 all the other Amigas are pretty much normal to a standard IBM PC compatible uh, Centronics 36 printer port you know the big hoss on the end uh, also we need to take 15 which is a ground and send it to the not connected is that necessary? I don't think so um, 16 is another ground, needs to go to what is reset, which is a ground in normal life. Now, apparently there are some other ones, like pin 14 is auto FD on a PC, pin 15 is error, that's why she's going to not connected, and pin 16 is called init, which is the reset on the Amiga, hence 16 going to reset. Now, 17, there's one called sell in or select in I don't know what that does but this guy made his work so what I got myself is this this is a uh, DB25 female to female gender changer this side's gonna go in the old A1000 this side's gonna screw or allow to allow you to screw in a standard parallel cable since I cannot find a Amiga 1000 parallel cable. I'm going to adapt this gender changer to do this math for me, therefore protecting my CIA chips from popping when I would plug 5 volts into a ground if I just fired this sucker up. I found this in my box of junk, and I'm going to use it. I don't know if this was from my original Amiga 1000, so I have to crack this open and see what's what. So I'm going to remove these things, and we're going to take a peek. So let me get it apart, put the tripod back on the steady stick, and we'll continue. The goal is to get the Amiga 1000 printing. I know something fell on the floor. Well, let's just say this attempt was less than stellar. Uh, this, like a Commodore 64 power supply, was sealed together at the old factory. I uh, decided to destroy it to see what was inside. I am going to get a new one. This was uh, very complicated because while you see this line on this, it's not two pieces. She's one, and these are a two-piece assembly. The first piece, well, that's it. And then this piece slides over top. It is then riveted or crunched here to hold the two halves together. That is why you will see uh, me splitting this, and then there's a fold in that hole right there. You can see the ridges where they kind of kind of riveted it together for your your holes. Uh, this is one solid piece. I was wondering why it had no flex. It is totally epoxied together. I've been popping them out. I broke one pin. I was trying to separate. You can see right here. I took out all the tools. I got surety. I got two Lorena Bobbits. I have a long needle nose uh, John Holmes style plier. Super sharp knife I didn't want to cut myself with. And another pair of regular pliers. 
all to get some flips going on. I was under the assumption, which you know what they say about assumptions, that taking this off would release this and I would have some slack and I could repin the wires needed to make an Amiga 1000 capable parallel port adapter. So I'm going to get on the old e-booger and see if I can find a loose kit and I'm going to build my own. So it's been weeks later. I went on eBay, e-booger, and I bought these DB25 female to female uh, gender changers because they looked like they were the screw in kinds and everything was cool. Little did I know they were potted 100% sealed full of hot glue just like the other one I had. So I melted said hot glue and I got the ends, kept all the little pins intact. I'm going to wire my own 25 wires and flip the ones I need so I can get the Amiga 1000 printing. Why? I don't know. Can't I just print off the other Amigas that I own? Yeah, but I want to print off the 1000. Why? I really don't have an answer. I don't know why I'm doing this. I just wanted to see if it can be done. Maybe someone can make a gender changer out there that is pre-done, not potted. It's just some wires, but it's a pain in the butt to solder them all together. So I have to cut myself 25 thin wires. They're all going to be the same color. Wire them up and flip the three wires that I need. It's going to have some wired taped together contraption that I can plug a printer cable in. It might take me a couple days. I started with two ends. I put some uh, pin headers that I took out of a 2.54 block. And I have uh, 14, 15, 16 and 23, 24, 25. Just sprawled out. Everything else has a pin in it. Why? Because I'm gonna take one of these blanks, now minus the cutout that I'm gonna do for the other side where they'll be wired together. Opposite, of course, because you know you can't have the same straight across. It's gotta be flipped because one is this way and one is that way, so just remember that. And they'll be pinned together for the rest of the pins, but I filled these with solder like a dum-dum, and I have to do another one. An update. All the pins are in. I hope I don't have any fingerprints on my uh, lens. Just straight through, look at that nice fingernail. Slammed it in the car door, not good. These three are gonna cross to here, these three are gonna cross to here. We'll be good. I'll wrap it up full of tape, let the wires hang around. It'll be beautiful. Okay, so here's the finished adapter. This is uh, 14, 15, 16 to 23, 24, 25. 14, 15, 16 to 23, 24, 25. Well, you plug one side in, and it's the same on both sides. And when you have one plug, one plug matching. You have to make sure you have those three pins, 14, 15, 16, on both sides, going to 23, 24, 25. So that's what it looks like. I'm just going to run some tape around it best I can. Nothing to uh, be proud of, but, you know, functional. We'll test it out in just a second. Hello from a day or two or five later. Anyway, here's my prayer cable. Here's my uh, wonderful invention. It's not an invention, and it's not the best job. It's I squished them together, and I soldered every pin together first, top and bottom, and then I did it crooked, and then I cut the leads for the three that I needed, and I wired them, except the wires were too long because these things are hard to work with, this little this like bodge wire stuff. So I wired up the three pins long and just kind of wrapped the tape around it all and this is what I came up with. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to take this cable, which is a standard Centronics 36. I'm going to carefully put this in it. This here. Oh my god, I can't see a thing. i got to be careful because this thing doesn't take this end. And this will go always have it backwards okay so we're plugged up ouch let's turn on the okie data please don't blow up my stuff please don't blow up my stuff did find another ribbon got some continuous roll paper can you see any of that I apologize get down there all right so we're just gonna go kind of this shot <laughs> turn on the pie storm I don't know if that's right, but it did initialize. It's going to take a second to boot. Take this a second to boot because it's the, you know, pie storm. Or it won't boot. I don't know. We'll see. 
here online. Oh, we got an Amiga. Okay, so let's uh, I did put some stuff on here. Let's uh, all right, final writer, final writer. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna type something simple. Oh, this is kind of hanging on the edge. H E L O, there from the Amiga 1000. Hope this works. Exclamation point. All right. Print. Uh, do I have to set up a printer? I don't know. I'm just going to hit it. Ready? It's either going to blow up or work. If it works, that document is awesome. I'll throw it in. It's in the description. Man, I don't know if I should hit it. Hell with it. Or not. Oh, wait a minute. It's working. <laughs> How do I get out of there? What are you doing? Uh-oh. It's doing some extra stuff. Like, it's printing this whole page instead of just what I had. Maybe that's that form feed line. That's ground and it's not. I don't know. Let's see. Tear. Oops. Ah, close enough. Well, close enough. Look at that. Printing from the Amiga 1000. It looks okay. I mean, I'm not a big Final Rudder fan. Let's reboot it. Well, that's not good. Maybe? It's still doing something. So let's go into system and then prefs and then printer. Let's see if we have, where the hell is it ever here? I want to see if I have the, uh, why is this dark? I think my monitor is pooping out. So I have it as generic. <coughs> is there an Oki data in here? H-I-J-K, Oki Mate, Oki Data ML92, Oki 24 plus, what is that? No micro lines. Let's just choose this one. Save. Was there like continuous? Continuous paper. Print quality. Letter. Save. Alright, I'm going to try this again. I'm just going to print this. Print. I don't know. Print. Let's see what happens. It's either going to work or blow up. Or it's blowing. It's blowed up. I don't know. No, nope, still working. Well, I guess I did it correctly. Otherwise, it would have blew up. Now she shakes like my grandma, but it's working. Just making sure my paper's gonna come out because I got all my tools laying on here. Oh. It's printing the startup sequence. Man, this thing is loud. I need a sturdier printer stand. This is a dish rack from Lowe's for like $8. That works. It's steel, metal, something. And that's loud. Quiet move. Slows it down. Alright, I should be able to hit tear. Go up a line. Oh. I don't know if this is going to work, but... Yep. One Amiga 1000 uh, startup sequence. Workbench 3.1 maybe? I don't know. Cool. So, there we go. Amiga 1000 printing. My little ghetto adapter. 14 to 23, 15 to 24, 16 to 25. That's it. Now what I would recommend, you don't buy these gender changers. Why? They're all potted on the inside with plasticky hot glue and I destroyed it to make it work. And I ended up just get, taking two DB25 female ends and soldering them together, cutting the three out and flip-flopping the wires around, wrap it with tape. It's nothing to be proud of, but it was just a, a prototype test. I'm not going to make these because I only got this one and another one over on the other side. But I was under the assumption that since these had those little bolts and stuff, that they were the split-out kind and it was already pre-wired and just kind of cheap. But it wasn't. 
anyway it works the Amiga 1000 is printing sorry that it took me three plus weeks to film had to wait on parts and then get screwed on eBay and buy the wrong stuff it can stay here now kinda cool so we're all set up I have a thousand sheets of paper and two ribbons and the one that's in there that seems to be working gotta figure out what's going on with my monitor I don't know if it's the adapter it seems that it's not affecting the CIA chips because well let's see yeah there's dread still working you ever seen that game that is a doomish Amiga thing I don't know what this is though that's new that's RAM or is that Pyram I guess I should turn the volume up Oh shit, it worked. My monitor's kind of in the turd mode though, sorry. Oh! Does this mouse move? How do you fire? Oh, left mouse button. Look at that. This is an Amiga 1000. Sounds working! Now this game works really well. It's like Doom. This is a look how it's, it's line drawn. So when you back off, it looks better. And that's how they're getting around the old chunky graphics with the planes of the Amiga. It runs actually substantially well. This mouse is just horrid. Is there any like, health? Anyway, useless. So anyway, thank Oops. So thank you for watching. Hope this helps you out there somewhere, knowing that you can uh, make your own adapter using a standard printer cable because I haven't seen an Amiga 1000 printer cable in a long time. So it's just a standard printer cable with that little adapter gender changer I made. It took me like, I don't know, maybe an hour because I can't see anything and I had to wear the goober helmet. But you can do it. It's not hard if you just have the ends and you don't mind a tape job. It's behind there anyway. I'm not going to look at it. I do have to leave it out on a little bit of a crooked angle because it's kind of touching the wall. It helps hold it up. So anyway, thank you guys for watching, and as always, I hope you learned something.